Yo, what's up guys? Riven here. Uh, we're going to be talking about how to take Streamlabs chatbot, put it together with OBS, and script it together. So you can add some different variety to your stream, add a little more interactivity, and maybe get some extra perks for subscribers, regulars, maybe some cool ban effects uh, for your moderators. So let's jump right into this and show you how to make some different type of uh, extra cool, unique things to your stream. Sorry, I got a little excited there. So the first thing we're going to do, obviously, is the first application we need to make this work is Streamlabs Chatbot. Without Streamlabs Chatbot, this doesn't work. So we'll come to Streamlabs, we'll download it, install it. The first thing we need to do is then come to Connections. Once we click on Connections, we need to set up our bot, our streamer channel, and our username. Uh, notice, username, and this match. Without it, it doesn't work. Another, another little side note here. Your bot name. If you want to use your stream uh, emotes, you need to have your bot named after your username and your stream channel because you're you're always subscribed to your channel. If you do not use your stream bot, your stream name for your bot, you cannot use your emotes. So I set up mine because I wanted something named differently, more dot spot, just so it stands out to show that hey, this is my bot. So I can't use my stream emote. I can't use my personal emotes unless I use my bot and subscribe to my channel, which I'm not going to do. Um, so moving on now that's installed. Oh, just a note, another note, once you is set up Streamlabs chatbot and it's defaulted and you don't have any connection set up, you will not see the script section. This will not be here. The only time it shows up is after you set up these two, then you get the script section. So now this is, now that this is installed and we're ready to go, uh, we'll come to, uh, our OBS WebSocket 4.3.3 4 .3 website. Uh, once this is installed, uh, we'll have to come and set up some different things with it. So, first thing we download it, install it, and we'll, it's very it's a very easy to install. Actually, very easy to configure. You download it. Uh, it's going to ask you to point to your OBS installation folder. You point to the folder. Done. Close out of it. Your sign off. See you later. Now we move over to Python. Python. Uh, oops. We come to the website. You want to look for Python for a different uh, OS. Use Windows. Uh, this is, uh, as of this recording, it's 2.7.15. Uh, I'm going to leave a link in the description for you. Uh, the one that's working is uh, 2.7.13. Uh, uh, so uh, click on the link in the description to download that version. Install Python. Uh, remember where you have installed it because you're going to need it later. Uh, for me, I installed it in my E drive program files, Python 27, and the folder we will need is Python 27, uh, the LIB folder. Uh, once we have that installed, uh, once we have that installed, we are ready to go on to the next step, which will be OBS. Uh, WebSockets, what it does is it actually adds this WebSocket server settings. We'll say enable the WebSocket server. By default, you're 4444. Leave it by default matter. Uh, enable authentication because Streamlabs requires you to type in a password. Uh, type in the password, something you're going to remember. I like to enable a, enable stream uh, assistance ray alerts. I'll explain why in the next uh, segment over here. Uh, so move on. Now that we have our OBS set up, let's go set up our Streamlabs. We'll come down to OBS remote, leave the IP alone, change this to whatever you set the port for, as in my case is 404 Four, four, and the password you set. So now, uh, the system tray, the reason why I like to have the system tray open is if I open this by accident first, Streamlabs first, and then I open OBS, I'm not going to get a system tray alert. What you need to do, and the way it's always going to work, OBS needs to open up first, and then you need to open up Streamlabs. If you do not open up OBS first, it's not going to make that connection. This is your host. It needs to be running first so this can connect to it. Once this opens and these two connect, you get your, uh, I'll show you, I'll show you what I'm talking about. Oh, you can't do that. There you go. Done. Right? Lost it. Disconnected. Yes. Once it runs and loads, you'll get this system tray saying, hey, connected. I like it just so it's like, okay, I'm connected. Just in case I click on Streamlabs OBS by accident, uh, it's never going to make that connection between the two if OBS is not running first. Uh, so as soon as this loads, we'll jump right back into everything. Um, but that's a little little tip. Flip, there you go, connected. Now, now we have the hard part set up. We installed Streamlabs Chatbot. 
we set up our OBS WebSocket, we installed Python. That's it, right? Now we have to uh, set up o set up Python so we can import our OBS remote parameter. I'll explain how you get that next. So settings, uh, we're gonna need to look for our 2.7.13 directory. Remember what I told you, remember where we installed it? So you gotta go pick folder. Yes, you wanna navigate to your Python's installations library folder and click save. Example, this is what we're looking for. So hit yes. Obviously, uh, remember I put mine in program files, Python 27, libs. And you hit save here, and that's it. Uh, this should already be here for you, uh, the API key. So if it's not, hit generate API key. Uh, I'm obviously not gonna be showing that because some people could stick that and do nasty things with, uh, uh, against it. So now we have this thing called OBS remote parameter. This is the fifth thing that we need to use inside of, oh, sorry, the fourth thing that we need to use to connect uh, OBS and Streamlabs together. Uh, the where, the reason, the where, oh, to where to download this, to get this, you're gonna have to, it'll be in the description of the YouTube video. Um, but if you want to go looking for it, it's also in the Streamlabs Discord on the script section. And if you just go into the search box and search for OBS remote parameter, you can download it from there as well. Uh, but I'll leave it in the description for you. Uh, once you, we're going to have to import this. I remember where you downloaded it from. Mine was in the downloads folder. Uh, so I'll come and find uh, OBS. I'll open it. And so I click open and that's it. I'm not going to click open because I don't want to blow anything out. And make sure it is enabled. Don't worry about this one. Uh, that's, that's a separate uh, command or script that I'm running. Um, and that's it. Now these two are connected, and uh, now the fun begins. So now we're gonna come back to OBS. And now what we need to do is start looking for and start deciding what we wanna make for our um, sources and what we want to show up on stream. So say you're gonna use your death counter and when you die, you want something that should pop up that's related to death. Or maybe when you're about to power up and fight a boss, you got Goku popping up uh, to do some cool animations and powering up, you know, Super Saiyan style. But there's a few different things you can do with it. I like to add sound files to my GIFs. Uh, so uh, I, I'm, I find the sound files. I add them. Give it a name. Doesn't need any votes to run. Make sure you lower this. Please make sure you lower this. Uh, this will blow out your eyes because 100% is extremely loud. It goes up to 200%. It does not need to be that loud. I find 30 is a good number uh, to work. Find Find the, remember where you downloaded your sound files? I like to make something called like uh, Twitch Media. And I download all my stuff in there. Um, and then you can pre preview it to see what it sounds like. You can also take your files and you can turn them into movies and add sounds. So when they play, when you even play them directly inside of OBS, it'll have sound directly for you. I like to do sound files as an extra step, but you can you, you can make them MP4 files here, obviously, and add it directly in. Uh, so there's no, there's no, you don't have to do that extra step like I do. So make an MP4 file, add some audio to it, and then when you click the view button, it will show up and there'll be sound playing. Um, little tip for maybe new people ODS, OBS. Uh, this is a local file. I loop it, I restart playback when the source becomes active. Because uh, if you don't, it may not actually play because it's not restarting. I, I, this, I think this is on by default, so I'll leave it alone. I hide the source when the playback ends, and I close the file when it's active. These two right here need to be checked, or you'll be eating up your system's resources. Because uh, you're adding, look, look how many uh, sources you're adding. The more sources you have, and the more that they're running, eats up at your CPU. So make sure you have these turned off. Uh, or at least um, the file is closed when inactive, and the source, uh, and hide the source when playback ends. So now, now we add our source file, we add our sound file, we add our source. Now we come to commands. Uh, in this case, we name this command power. So again, name the command what you want. If you want to, you can actually have it cost something. So you can have like a perk for using uh, stream currency. Uh, what chat you're gonna send it to? You can send it to a whisper, both, just uh, all of them. Uh, yes, it needs to be true. It needs to be enabled. 
Uh, maybe you have them grouped out. Like if you look at my commands, I don't really have them grouped out. They're just kind of all over the freaking place. I need to do some cleanup with them. Um, but then permissions. This is set to everyone. So if it's set to everyone and you have people that come into your stream, uh, they can just turn around and, uh, um, you know, click on it and spam the hell out of it. So there's two ways. There's a few ways of actually countering this. Uh, make it subscriber only. Make it a regular only. Um, or give it a global cooldown of like 15 minutes. So after they use it, they cannot use it again for 15 minutes. Um, or you can use it. You can actually uh, limit the user to use it. So you're not so you're not locking everyone else out. So you can say that use is locked out for 15 minutes, but everyone else can use it uh, for every every one minute. Um, so depending on how you want to set up. Uh, the next thing we need to do is set up our uh, response. So this is actually the script. This is now going to tie back to this uh, to work in here. So what we're going to do, we need to type in uh, dollar sign OBS time source. This right here needs to match exactly to your OBS source. Uh, if it does not match, it will not work. You'll get the sound, um, and you'll also get this. Like if I, ch if I get rid of this exclamation point, uh, exclamation point, just quotations, and then I type uh, power. I'll get the sound because I have a because I have a sound file on there, so the sound file automatically works. But the the GIF I have in the source OBS file will not work. So that's that's a that's a big thing to pay, uh, pay attention to. Make sure all your quotations and all your punctuation match perfectly, and that your source is exactly named as it is in OBS. The next thing you also need to do is set a time limit for it. How long you want this uh, gift to last? Uh, try and match it up to what your sound effect is. If you're going to use sound files, uh, or if you're making an MP4 with the video and sound in it, um, you're fine. Uh, if it lasts four seconds, make it last for four seconds. Submit. Come here. Now, if you watch OBS, I'll press Enter. OBS turns on. Goku's displayed. Sound comes to the stream. Trap in. Light turns green, trap is clean, right? That's it. That's pretty much all there is to it. It's pretty straightforward. Um, if you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. I will respond and help you guys out the best that I can. All this information for you will be down in the description below. Uh, if I have, if someone has knows more about it, maybe I left out something. I don't think I did. Uh, you know, please correct me. My first guide, so please bear with me. Uh, and I appreciate you all, all of you watching this. I really do. Uh, so I hope everyone has an awesome night. Any questions, let me know, and I'll help you guys out. Peace out, everyone. Bye.